In this tutorial, you'll learn about generative AI tools in academic honesty. You might be familiar with generative AI tools like ChatGPT that use text data and algorithms to generate responses based on user prompts. Tools like these can be useful for generating ideas, but using AI-generated text and claiming it as your own can be seen as dishonest and can even get you in trouble. Other issues with using generative AI are that it can hallucinate, cite research articles that don't exist, or cite real resources incorrectly. AI can be biased. If the text data used to train it contains biases, AI will replicate them. Because AI takes a huge amount of energy to train, there's also a negative impact on the environment. It's also important to be aware of the privacy issues associated with using generative AI. An enormous amount of data is required to train the models, which may include sensitive or personal information. Therefore, users should be aware of and consent to how their conversations are being used. Without safeguards in place, it is safest to not provide any personal or sensitive information to generative AI tools. Finally, many large language models were built using copyrighted material. While there are some circumstances where it is legal to use copyrighted material without permission, the use or misuse of this information does have ethical implications. However, there are creative and ethical ways to use generative AI to increase productivity and generate new ideas. For instance, you can use generative AI to brainstorm topic ideas for a research project, refine an email, or clarify complex concepts. Consider the potential issues before you use AI tools and make sure you're aware of the generative AI policies of your college and classroom. Information generated by AI can be false, so be sure to verify it. If it is unclear as to whether you can use generative AI tools, ask your professor. Remember that NIU has many student support services to help you succeed with or without AI. Need help finding or using information? Ask a librarian in person at the Research Help Desk or chat with us online.